So this is happening today. Hi, I'm Ben. And I'm MP. We love the ocean, so we decided to make it our home by buying a massive wooden schooner, which is unfortunately sinking. A lot of people believe our boat is doomed, but we refuse to settle on that thought, and we are willing to do whatever it takes to bring it back to its former glory. Join us on this refurbishing journey and wish us luck! Hmm. So the last week and a half, we were slowed down a lot by the rain, but also because we ran out of wood for our frames. So starboard side, there is still more than three quarters of framing to do on the port side. I think there's only six more frames to do, but this morning, have a look over there. We've got a few more planks that arrived here as well, ready to be cut and placed in the port side of the engine room and also almost a full starboard side. We'll use as much as we can of this and we we'll, might have to order some more but we're super happy that this arrived okay, to know what angle the bevel has to be for example this is frame 10 on the boat they use this plank to measure what so frame 10 has to be at the bevel of this angle here so that gets brought over to the ship saw and the ship saw and cuts it at the angle that it needs to be on both sides. So over here is where the last frames are missing. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ten more frames here, of which the one that just got cut is up here already. From now on, once the first piece is actually placed on the boat, it goes super fast because when they're finished, the next vertical will have arrived already to be placed. And I think we sometimes we get like four full frames done per day. So right now, as we speak, the vertical that previously got made is being drilled onto the old frames. And over here, the next one's already being made. Like I just said, when that's been drawn onto there, the process is just going to be repeated and repeated. It's going to be cut, brought to the boat. They're going to attach this one to the boat. And they're going to keep making them. So I think there's another one, two, three. I think they can make about it's another seven or eight with the wood we have here. There's another plank under the top. And we'll see how that goes. And when this runs out, we have to order new stuff, but then we can work on planking again. So our wood ran out yesterday about 20 minutes before the workday finished and literally two minutes before the day finished the wood arrived. So right now we're busy cutting out the last few frames. Thank you. 
So I thought we would have finished the frames on the port side today, but I didn't know that these frames, the ones that go against the transom would take so long. The reason they take so long is they are the biggest frames of the boat. This is actually one side, there is the other side. They have been made and they have been painted where I won't be able to access the paint later. Now, why is this a more difficult frame to make? It's firstly, it's larger, longer, and it's at a way bigger bevel than all the other pieces so far because the planks at the back will slope a lot more than at the bottom of the hull. It's at an angle like so. So the frame is having to go from there all the way to that corner. So that's going to be a big job. Uh, the storm is coming. She heard some thunder. Have a look over there. That boat's actually almost going into the water. They've done an amazing job and it's very pretty. They've just finished painting the bottom. This boat just arrived, very cool as well. It's not a sailing boat, but it's looks cool. And coolest boat of all, that one, which still has to be made, fixed. But anyway, I'm gonna go inside. We're gonna go home, wrap up, because apparently there's more rain coming in the next two days than there has been in the last two weeks. So I'm gonna make sure the boat's covered up well. Uh, wood is covered up well over there and let's hope we stay dry ish The work has temporarily stopped, obviously. I am already soaked because I went to go and fasten the tarp a bit more onto the boat. I know the water's going to get in anyway, but I just didn't want to lose the tarp. But it's, gonna, it's still tipping it down. It's going to create rivers and floods and everything. But hopefully after this, the sun will start shining and we will be able to work again and everything will dry. Let's see. So the first of the last frames is temporarily in place. The starboard one has just been taken out. You got it? The reason that one still looks a bit odd, it's not been placed into the boat yet, it's just resting. So that's why it's not level with all the rest. There was never a frame in this place, so it went straight from there to the transom. So what these guys are going to do is they're actually going to put an extra frame in between both of them. Which if you look at it makes sense. There would be a huge gap if there wasn't this frame here. <laughs> So previously, before Elio planed them down, they were like this, right? So the frame is round and the plank is straight. Yeah, However, well. what he did, he's been planing the planks, the frames, sorry, so that each plank can fit on nicely. And you can go up one more, so the frames can fit on nicely here. So even though there's a curve here, this is not where the plank's going to be. There's gonna be a plank here, and a plank down there so that's being done on every single frame still got to do all that being an epic job though 
So why this last frame in particular was harder to make, it doesn't only have to fit nicely with the planks, so it has to fit nicely with the planks that are going to go against it. It's also got to be flush so the transom planks can be fit onto it nicely and it has to fit nicely onto the stern post as well. So it's actually many points together that you have to look at and on top of that there's going to be a floor timber that's even going to be built after the frames have been put on to attach it properly to the stern post. What are you doing here doggy? Today is a very exciting day because we finally received the wood pieces that we needed to start building the frames from starboard. As you might know, our port side is completely done. We have all the frames from port done, which is amazing. And now we just need to come to starboard to finish building frames. And what's very exciting about that is that once the frames from this side are done, that means that what we have next it's all the easiest bit because from now from the beginning we've been doing the tough parts like the keel the stern pose the forefoot there were pieces that needed a lot of work also the frames the same the first planks are also very very hard to put because we need to bend them with the heat they're also done so once the frames on this side are done all we need to do is just plank up and that will be very quick the carpenters promised me promised me they will be very quick and then yeah it's very very exciting because once this is done everything else just flows so we're really really happy we're in the south of brazil all the wood comes more from the western part of the country so it's a long way here and here where we are i think we counted more than 20 shipyards just so we have a lot road. of competition whenever there's any wood arriving it's like no it's mine no it's mine no it's mine so we have to fight for it and that's why we run out very quickly yeah but that's cool we can keep going now yes yes <laughs> show you something of the boat behind us so this boat is from Cizinho a good friend of ours he's actually been a fisherman for like 30 years and I just want to show on his boat he has this cooling system that doesn't require salt water to be pulled inside your engine so in your boat we have a through hole that sucks in salt water brings it through the engine through a muffler and then pushes it out through the exhaust what he has he has a completely fresh water system in his engine now what happens is fresh water gets pushed out of the boat through pumps and it goes through these copper pipes here which are attached to the bottom of his hull this warm fresh water just goes through these pipes the cold salt water cools it down and it goes back into the engine you think this is very cool because it avoids any salt water in your engine and if there is ever a problem that's very cool so we don't know if we might even do this or if we keep our current system now this boat's actually going in the water today or tomorrow he's done a quick few quick fixes his anodes are on his bottom paint is on anti-fouling everything now what's cool is this is his boat now he can carry about 22 tons of fish he's got a new one being built which can carry 50 tons and he showed me a picture recently of this boat fully loaded and I think the water when it was going through the water coming back from fishing almost went up to that yellow line there so there's only that much sticking out of the water which is very cool very daring because one wave and it just overflows but yeah I just wanted to show you that engine cooling system <laughs> So the reason why this fine tuning has happened is the distance between the top of the frame and that where the white paint stops over there has to be eight centimeters over here when it was put up the distance was only seven and a half so a little fine tuning has to be made so the frame can be pushed inwards a bit 
So I want to try something for you guys and I'm going to have MP as the test dummy. So even though some of our frames look okay, we are still replacing them and we're going to try and show you why. MP. Here is a futuk of about, I don't know, one and a half meters. Lift one up. Hold one. Let's look at her effort. Yeah? She can't even, oh, put it back. Yeah. Yeah, put it back. Don't squish your fingers. Okay, now we're gonna head over to one that is, might even be bigger than this of our old frames, okay? Mm, I'm starting to see what's happening here. So there is an old frame that looks fine. I mean, it's been cut. Anyway, lift that piece up. This one? Yeah. <laughs> She's not even having to put her hands under it. So over time, or even the wood used for this, we think isn't as strong as wood should be for a boat. Yeah. And over time, it's lost lots of its resistance structure, resistance and in humidity and density. So these planks are literally, like these frames are not heavy. Look out for your toes. So that's why even though some of them look fine, like it's not that bad, we are going to replace them with new ones. Yeah? So what's your verdict? I, I don't know. I think that one might weigh less than 10 kilograms. This one I think weighs just under 20 kilograms and they are almost the same size. We know that you weigh 13 kilos. So let's see. This is the effort for 13 kilos. <laughs> <laughs> and he doesn't mind, he just continues grazing. Here? Lighter or heavier? I think the same. Same? 13 kilos. Except it should weigh more. This morning we got three very thick and long planks of wood. And now they are carrying the last half, the last remaining bit. templates for these frames are made like this so there's two pieces of wood and they are separate but nailed together with two nails so this will be put here this is frame 14 for example but it might be used for 15 later which means these two nails just get taken out and these two pieces just move around a bit so it fits number 15 and they get nailed together again and then number 15 gets written on it This is how to make the most of pieces of wood that we have to make the frame. So frame one button goes here, up to here, the other one to there.
our hose has arrived for the boat BBC Ching Gang from St. John's Our lovely Ben is working really hard today and I'm gonna show you Ben! Hi. Hey. hey, what have you been up to? So we painted it all first to protect it but as it's getting mounted all a lot of paint gets come up uh, scratched up so as we're waiting for some holes to be drilled to put the tree nails through the paint's here anyway so i'm going to just cover up some of the i don't know if it's just to make it look nice or if it actually works but it looks nice and what is the temperature today it's too hot i think it's 30 something degrees 32 now it's 31 but before it was 32 so hot come on A lot of work happening. A lot of work happening simul simul Lavi, how do you say simultaneously? Sim how? Simultaneously. 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 We have a lot of work happening simultaneously here today. We have Ben filming. Another team is drilling holes and another team is cutting and placing the new frames and another team, me, filming because someone has to film, right? <laughs> So I am now in the first room to this cabin to the starboard side when you come down the stairs to the right here where I'm standing right now uh, there used to be ballast on top of the ballast there used to be a water tank which is now over there the ballast is down there and I am just here so I can show you how we are actually assembling these frames so when the boat was made and it's the way they do it in the northeast of Brazil as well as down here is they have the floor timber often attached from here all the way up one frame one piece as we what we are doing is we have like i said one frame here well futtock split onto another one going up attached with this one over here which is also resting against the floor timber so it's not like they're all hanging loose they're all attached and this is resting onto here and this is actually on the bottom of the hull and that's how we're doing it here so right now we are more than halfway into the starboard side as well port side has been done and this is how it looks for now also one more thing i would like to see a lot of the rainwater that came in made all this wood here on the side the beams and the frames rot however in the hull of the boat we had lots of salt water so you can see how these frames here the floor timbers are actually in a very good nick so we didn't have to cut all of these out just up to here where the rainwater got caught something really funny that just happened is that ben went inside the boat to explain you about this cabin and caillou has an obsession with ben so he also wanted to be inside the boat but he couldn't find a way up so he found some steps there that were actually where all the tools were and he was making a mess and the carpenters were like getting very angry because he dropped a lot of nails and screws and he almost <laughs> dropped the big drill and then they helped him come here so he could be with Ben and now he's gone What do you have to say about these frames, huh? Huh? What do you think? I think so too, they look nice, huh? <laughs> so I am now in the V-Birth, the most forward cabin which has completely been framed up on both sides already that's very cool it's going to be even cooler when all the planks are in on the port side the planks are up about they have one two three four five six seven planks on the starboard side there are one two three planks i'm going to the next cabin all the frames are in there as well 
next cabin where I just came from is empty. Also oh, frames. And there's the dog who can't get up. Poor thing. You'll manage. Over there, more art, more frames, all done. Here as well, all done. Now to the galley, the indoor galley. You can see this is where we're busy making them as we speak. There's actually a few done over there. Now there's just these to do. So things here are happening really fast. How is the day? Wood arrives that we are waiting. Finally, we're really happy. You blink, the wood's gone. Why? Because while we're waiting for the wood, all the templates are being made. Like this one and all these others. So while we cannot work on the frames, at least we're preparing the templates. So when the wood arrives, it becomes templates in the blink of an eye. So now they are ready to put the template in the piece of wood. They are ready to cut it out. Once it's cut, it goes to the boat and it's installed. Just like this. Me ajudante agora tem que entender. Vem mandou ela me ajudar agora te vira. Isso. Push. Vai. Ei bebê, deixa baixar aí então, deixa. Pode entregar sua mão aqui, tá? Entendeu? Pode entregar sua mão aí, deixa. Não, aqui eu levo para baixar, tá? Ó. Não julga pela esse corpinho aqui na orelha. Você não tem esse corpinho que você deveria ter braços. Isso é isso? Não, eu não sei, porque agora eu só coloquei isso aqui. Eu estou matando a mim. We have another neighbor. Yes, it's our fourth neighbor. Fourth neighbor. Our fourth PayPal donations. Jurgen, Guren, David, Jonathan, and Franz. Also, thank you so much if you've adopted a frame or a futtock. We are so grateful. There's a few left, so if you're interested, don't forget to go for it. We'll yeah, be super thank grateful. Thank you so much for everyone who joined our sponsorship program. We can't believe how successful we went. 
There are just a couple of frames left, so this is probably your last chance if you still want to participate. And if you have already got one, we want your name to be put on your piece. So don't forget, yeah, download check. the zip file, unzip it, and you'll find three documents. Have a look at those three documents, that's very important. Well, one of them is the manual. Anyway, ciao, and we'll see you next week. Thank you so much.